Stick around, and we'll get right to it. Programming the radio is fairly easy. We'll just go ahead and try to program a repeater real quick. So we'll say 145-170, which is a local repeater for me. Now that we've got that plugged into the VFO, we're going to hit the menu and come down to Program. We'll go ahead and set the transmit tone that we're going to need for this. So we'll just tell it CTCSS. And then it's going to ask us exactly which tone we want to use. And if I remember right, I need 114.8 for that particular repeater. We'll press exit to go back one screen. And then we need to set the offset direction. And we might have to plug in the offset amount. So the direction for that one is going to be minus. And let's see if the offset is already set. Yep, it's already set. So that should be all we need. Now we can just come down a little ways. And I think I went past it. We're going to hit channel memory. We'll press menu. And it's going to ask us which slot we want it in. Channel 1 is already taken up with the simplex frequency. So we'll just put this one in slot 2. We'll go ahead and press enter there. And that's it. If we exit all the way back out. Now if we go into the channel mode. Channel 2 should be our new repeater. Turn the volume up just a little bit. And let's test that out. And it's that easy to program in a repeater. If you wanted to add a name to that repeater, that's fairly easy as well. Once you're in the memory mode and you have the channel selected, press your menu again, come down to program, and then come to channel name. You can go in here. Exit will walk you backwards uh, through the uh, letters. So you can delete. Whoop, went a little too far. Exit will walk you backwards so you can delete the letters. Let's see if I can not go past it this time. And then if we use the pound key down in the bottom right corner, we can cycle through lowercase, uppercase, and numbers. So then beyond that, it's just simple T9 text. So this is KU4B. So we'll give it K. We'll give it U. Uh, we need to go to the numbers. We'll give it four. Let's go back to uppercase. And we'll give it a B right there. Press menu, and you've now saved that channel name. Now when we go back out, you'll see it's still reading channel 2. If we use the VM button right here, it will cycle between the frequency, the channel number, and then the actual name that you've named it. 